Hello and welcome to History with Jackson. Today we will be looking at Benito Mussolini and how he fulfills the six criteria that we've been looking at for the past five weeks in this final episode of the first Dictator series. Number one was an official state ideology with a body of doctrine to support it. The official state ideology of Mussolini's Italy was fascism. It prioritised social conservatism, authoritarianism and nationalism. The body of doctrine that supported this ideology was the doctrine of fascism that was written by Benito Mussolini and Giovanni Gentile. Number two was a single mass party of around 10% of the national population as members. By 1925, Mussolini had succeeded in turning Italy into a single party state. This party was his party, the Republican Fascist Party. And in 1939, this party had 6 million members out of a national population of 43.4 million. Number three is a system of terror enacted arbitrarily in a physical or a psychological way. Mussolini had a secret group of black shirts who were funded and directed by his Minister for Propaganda, Cesare Rossi. This group of black shirts would later take part in the murder of high-profile opposition politician Giacomo Matotti. Matotti had recently criticised Mussolini for some of his policies. After the suspension of democracy, these black shirts would also lead the arrest of opposition politicians and destroy their writing. Number four was a monopoly on communications and information. After the suspension of parliamentary democracy in Italy, Mussolini and his regime took control of the media. This control included the shutting down of liberal newspapers and the attack of unfavourable journalists, the funding of fascist newspapers to ensure that state propaganda and state information was properly disseminated among the population, the attachment of police officers to print houses to ensure that everything being printed was ideologically compliant, and also personal communications were monitored and telephone lines and mail were closely watched and listened to to ensure compliance. Writings that were not ideologically compliant were also destroyed by the secret police, the black shirts and the regime. Number five was a monopoly on arms. In 1931 Mussolini introduced the Public Safety Act. This act introduced a secret police that were directly under the control of Mussolini, further solidifying the monopoly on arms in Italy. However, it also led to the mass confiscation of weapons by the regime. And this was done under the pretense of preventing subversion of the regime. Number six is economic centralization. Italy under Mussolini undertook huge social welfare projects with massive funding going into schools and infrastructure. They also took a mixed economy route, with the state and corporations planning the direction of the economy. So, as always, I'd like to recommend a couple of books which really helped me in the research for this episode. Firstly, would be Fascism, a reader's guide by, or edited by Walter Lecure. There is some really good information on fascist regimes in here. I personally used Adrian Littleton's chapter on Italian fascism, but the stuff on Germany in here as well. It's really informative, easy to read. Um, book, uh, especially the chapter on Italy, which breaks down different things such as you know, fascism and culture, fascism and capitalism. So it's a really nice, easy beginner's guide to fascism, really. And secondly, I know I've recommended this book before, but it is just so 
great and so fantastic, really. Uh, it's How to Be a Dictator, The Cult of Personality in the 20th Century by Frank Dakota. I know I've recommended it before, but yet again, the piece on Mussolini in, but, or in this by Frank Dakota is amazing and it's really informative. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting this book. Um, I'd also like to say thank you for watching this Dictator series. I really, really enjoyed doing it. Um, something that we, I'm going to look at doing more in the future with a second series with some more dictators that you guys have recommended and certainly some other ones which have caught my eye in my research. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. If you really enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you want to catch me on Instagram, I'm really, really quite active on Instagram actually. It's at History with Jackson. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye.